everyone and thank you for coming to today's build video where today I'll be giving you an effective and fun PvP build with the Titan Sentinel class that will allow you to one shot any player you face with your magnetic grenades. And let me tell you that once it sticks with most players, that's it, there's no chance of them getting out of it, unless the PvP gods are on their side of course. In this build here will incorporate Code of the Aggressor class perks, Armentarian and Impressive Darkness class mod which when all combined will allow us to pull off the stunt. And if you're someone that's looking to change up your loadout for a more slightly fun take on your opponents, then I believe this may take the cake for you. Now, there are some pros and cons with the build that I will go over, but nonetheless this shouldn't end your enjoyment of the build at all. So the build. The class you'll be using is the Roy Code of the Aggressor subclass to make the magic of the build work. From this we'll be making use of the superior arsenal tree perk that provides grenade energy upon grenades kills, which sounds too good to be true. We then have Inner Trenches and Second Shield which will both be useful for when we use our super and then we'll also be combining it with our Magnetic Grenade to also pull off the stunt. Next up we have our weapons which in our case here can be whatever fits your playstyle, but if you wish to gain more grenade energy while slaying your opponents then I highly recommend you get a weapon that can roll Demolitionist which will provide a small boost of grenade energy upon kills, you can even reload your current weapon equipped if you use said grenade. Now if you can get shotguns such as the last man standing or the reckless oracle or generally any shadow keep or gamut prime weapons that can roll the perk then you'll be able to throw grenades for days as long as you can land your kills of course. In my setup I have the all stringer and retold tail with demolitionists being active on my all stringer but in your case having just one or two demolitionists on your weapon is also recommended if you get a good roll or if not just having one or if you don't even have either the chance of getting demolition at all, then having neither because the amount of time it's going to be regenerating is still going to be enough, as long as you can still get kills with a weapon of course. For our armor, we'll start with our head, but before I go into it, let me explain a few things about the stats. Firstly, for the build we need to get our discipline up to 75 or 100, so we can get around a 45 to 30 second cooldown for our grenades. This will link to our subclass and the demolitionist perk. Secondly, at the same time we also make sure our recovery and resilience is around 50 so we don't die too quickly or become out of action for too long. All of the armor pieces I have achieve that goal with the relevant mods attached to them, but you also don't need to worry about having the same armor as me. The only armor you will need is the armamentarium for the build, but everything else is fine as to where you want to go with it, as long as you get the stats to where they need to be. So here are the following mods attached to our gear. Head, we have discipline mod and scatter projectile mod. Arm, we have resilience mod and fastball mod. Chest, we have resilience mod. Leg, we have a recovery mod. And Titan Mark, we have a enhanced ashes to assets mod and an impressive darkness mod. Now, I know you may not have the same armor stats as mine, which is fine. But just remember, you only need to make sure you have discipline, recovery, and resilience at the necessary level as mentioned before. And then, any other mod spaces left out that you may have room for is entirely up to you with where you want to go ahead and add other perks into it. Now generally how it plays out in the crucible is just as you imagined, stick them and watch as the first detonation hits, then the second follow up to finish them. And this is all thanks to the oppressive darkness mod, as without it we won't be able to pull off this stunt to begin with. Add on the fact that once you kill them you get around half your grenade energy back and you'll be halfway through to your second recharging grenade again. It all works within your favour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this PvP clip of me using in Crucible so you can get a general idea as to how it plays out and how it works and then once it's done I'll be right back after it's done. So enjoy the clip. They've taken the lead. You could turn this tide. Two for one. You gained the lead. As one, I love it. I envy your strength, Titan.
You take them like they grow from trees. And that's why we have fire teams. A titan of the first pillar. Five minutes left. Glory, glory is yours. So much glory, so little time. in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. I love it. You've turned the tables on defeat. I envy your strength, Titan. minutes remaining.
opponents have built a lead. Destroy it! As you can see from the gameplay, I can challenge anyone I face, as long as I can stick with my grenades. And from that, you saw how incredibly terrible I am with sticking mine, and then surviving the encounter in general. You'll probably do a better job with surviving than me, which is going to be a general fact, because I'm terrible in another PvP. Now of course there are a few downsides to this build, as no build is without them. Firstly, the stickiness of the grenades aren't that great as you have to directly land the shots on them for the grenade to do its magic and you will then come across this a lot, which makes it very risky against some players. This is why I mentioned to make sure your recovery and resilience is as high as it can possibly be, because of the one glaring issue that I've definitely noticed that's going to be an issue for many people. This is why I mentioned to make sure your recovery and resilience is as high as it can possibly be, because of the one glaring issue that I've found, and the one glaring issue that I know will come across with a lot of people that decide to use this build. If the grenade is close to them, but they slightly move by a bit, they dodge, they use their special ability, they use anything that could by any chance move them away from the grenade before it lands on them, then it won't stick. It will just detonate, and it will still damage them, but it won't be enough to the point of them outright being killed by it, unless their health is incredibly low to begin with. And you don't want that. You want that to actually stick, and actually watch the detonation explode. Secondly, depending on your target's resilience, if they have a high enough resilience, there is a chance the grenade won't outright kill them, but actually leave them a silver of health left on them. It's rare at times, I've, from what I've noticed. It will happen quite a bit, but you'll know it once you see it. If this is the case, make sure you have a weapon that you can be pulled out quickly to finish them, because 9 times out of 10 while that does happen, not only is it annoying, but it also basically means that, depending on the person that is playing that character, if they're a hunter for example, they can either just jump into cover or they can run for it. And if you don't have a weapon that is quick enough to be pulled out and then finish them off quickly then, they'll either go ahead and go back to the bodies and stay there until everything calms down, or they'll wait to recharge and then re -tack you again. Or better off they'll just wait for you to attack and then finish you. It's something that doesn't happen a lot, but it will happen at times. But as long as you're quick on the trigger, that shouldn't be a problem with finishing. And at the end of the day, as long as you get the kill, you'll still get an energy grenade killed back. So it's still a win-win, it's just that one other glaring issue that may happen. So just be aware of that. And that's everything you need to know about setting up your one-shot sticky nade build. Now, I know the clips don't give it justice as I keep dying over and over again. And that's just me with my very bad luck in Crucible. But I do promise I will provide a better show next time, I promise. But if you enjoyed the video, then please by all means, please leave a like. A sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff. Link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you in the next build video.